And there's Jamie Jones Buchanan, of course. The gold numbers for the legends on the back of the shirts. Jamie Jones Buchanan. He's obviously the most recent retired, so probably he will be one of the first to get on. I think he's there's the little fella himself. There's Danny Maguire as well. Very blingy jerseys, aren't they? Yeah, they look good. They look good. They deserve it as well. Look at this now. JP. All these legends coming out. Well, do you know what? Keith Senior has been adamant all week that he wasn't playing, and there he is. Ben Taylor is. Ben Taylor is just blowing the whistle, and that signifies the first of the former stars to take the field. Swung it in the way of the side that he was playing for. There's Big Stu. Stuart Fielding, Barry's old mate, taking the field. Barry is heading out to the pitch. Just behave yourself out there. Barry will go out to pitch side. Terry O'Connor as well, because it's all changing out there and some great legends of the game. Nathan McAvoy, they are playing against Leeds legends and now they're finding themselves playing alongside former Bradford legends. It's just absolutely amazing for them. There's an element of the, of the pre-season. Half, half of these young players will be sitting there thinking, I just want the season to start proper. And the pre-seasons are, they're, they're fraught with dangers, aren't they? The risk of injury versus the opportunity to stamp your mark on the game. Well, I think you throw all that out of the window now. When you look at the selection of stars at the side of the field and those that are already on, Stuart Fielder working from Mark has lost none of his aggression, has he? Irrepressible character, Wayne Godwin. Fielden. Sit up. <laughs> Get up, Fielden. Get up. Robbie Hunter Paul gets the ball away. It's <laughs> Fielden. Oh, Fielden taking on. JP is on, and Danny Maguire. And Kevin Sinfield as well. Is it just me, or is there a few more grey hairs knocking around? Oh, that's, that, that's not grey hair. That's Jamie Fielden. Kylie Lulawai. The old gang reunited at Emerald Headingley in front of a capacity crowd for a magnificent cause. Rob Parker now making a very successful, successful career as, a, as an actor. Sinfield's kick is a good one and it's allowed to bounce and Leeds could capitalise. Hanley will kick cross field and Walker is pursuing it and it's well taken by Brandon Pickersgill. And I tell you what, he has had an outstanding game, hasn't he? Really, really good game. Composed at fullback, he's injected himself into the attacking line. Really caused some trouble for Leeds right on his defence. That's the biggest challenge of all, is he's keeping your composure as a young lad. There's a straight arm from oh. Kyle Lulawai on well, Nathan McAvoy. You lose your coordination oh. when you haven't played for a while. The arms and legs weren't going in the right direction. But uh, abandoned his skis to take part in this noble effort. Oh! Sign him on is the, the chant from the South Stand. Is that Sam Smith and Remedin? He didn't play with alone quickly. <laughs> they loved it, they loved it. Burrow, only seconds away from appearing. Little kick through, and it's over the dead ball line. It was Sinfield to the rescue. The stars of the past. Big star of the future there in Jack Walker, but I think everything else comes to a halt now. Bill. And Rob Burrow enters the field. Five minutes to go. Myler salutes him. Burrow, hero of Headingley. Hero of the hour. What a man. What a wonderful picture. What a wonderful, wonderful picture. And the roof. The Emerald Headingley Stadium has come off. You can see the emotion with large all over Rob Burrow's face. Well done, young man. Everybody in the stadium standing to applaud Rob Burrow. And the South Stand salute is taken up by the entire Emerald Headingley ground.
meanwhile, has already had to have his head bandaged. Because Kylie Lulawai has caught him in a tackle. There he is, actually, at the top of the shot, Peacock. That's more. That's a more familiar look from JP. Here's Greg Johnson, looking forward to a, a season in the championship then with the Bradford Bulls. And Brett Delaney on the field as well now. Another stalwart of that Leeds Rhinos pack for so many years. Fielden again. It's a heavy contact. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary contact on Kyle the way. Well, Jamie Peacock who is uh, still out there, I think. Here's uh, his senior. Oh, senior, has he got the pace? Probably not. But he keeps possession. Here's Burrow now. Burrow. Here is uh, JP, yep. The head bandaged, blood oozing from the, uh, the head of the old warrior. Look at him. He could be on the slopes now. He could be, well, enjoying some apres ski. Instead, he's involved in a, a Bradford friendly. Here's Greg Johnson now. Oh remarkable finish to what has been a, a remarkable game. Leeds will register a, a pre-season win as they prepare for the new Super League campaign just uh, three weeks away now. Hull FC, their first opponents on that double header with Toronto against the Casper Tigers. Sidfield taking a, a heavy tackle from uh, well. David Fogg in Johnston. Across the field goes uh, Delaney. Last few seconds well. here. No Maguire, little shimmy. Oh, lovely work. Little kick ahead from Maguire. The ball is, is kicked ahead and eventually it's Pickersgill who quite rightly falls on it. Don't play back up, don't play back up, play ball. And saves the day. And he's done some good work at fullback as Brandon Pickersgill. And there is the hooter. And fittingly involved in the action at the end. Hands on his hips. Embraced by all. Saluted by all. Rob Burrow and a farewell to Headingley Stadium for him, for Jamie Jones Buchanan, a finale, a swan song for a man who has had a, a glittering career, won every honour going. Rob Parker among those to salute Rob Burrow, Keith Senior, he's only been on the field for seven minutes and he's emerged bloodied and battered. He'll be proud of that. He'll see he wouldn't have it very, any other way. He'll be very proud of that. And just on, on Rob Burrow, when he's saying a, a farewell now on the playing field at Emerald Headingley Stadium, and he's got a battle ahead of him, he's got a real battle ahead of him, but what a way to set yourself up with the crowd that has come along today.